Hey guys, welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. So we've got a cave up here to explore, pretty excited about that. We've got the gun fort, which I've been putting off for a while, but I'm really interested in that too. Before we get to any of that though, we do have two skill points here burning a hole in my pocket. Let's see if we actually want to spend these or if we want to bank them. The only thing I can afford right now is this vault over technique on this tree. Which doesn't seem particularly great to me. But, I don't know, maybe I'm missing something there. Over here we've got Fang and Blade. I've actually heard this is pretty dope. After using certain prosthetic tools, R1 for Fang and Blade. Attack with a tool and sword simultaneously, or one after the other. I mean, the only one of these that I really use a lot right now is the axe. The spear has been a complete failure for me, and I haven't tried Miss Raven, although that does sound cool. I just haven't really gotten to it yet. And then over here, I could afford Breath of Nature Light. Recovers posture upon executing a successful death blow. We just got a latent skill not too long ago that does exactly this. Not sure that I need both of them, really. Because I don't think it would be that handy. Or I could save up for a Sheena Cross or something else. Hmm. Oh, and there is Run and Slide. I think I'll just bank another point. There's a lot of them that cost three, that are probably better. Max number of spirit emblems would probably be a really good one. So actually bearing that in mind, I think I'm just going to hang on to these points and just try really hard not to lose my experience that I build up. But I don't know how it's going to go. I, uh, <laughs> I know that there's a couple of those Wolverine Claw enemies in here. I don't think they're overly difficult to fight. As long as we approach them the right way. It's all about getting in there quick. Don't let them get you with the fire. That's really the main source of their danger. But if you just use the Nightjar Slash to get in there the right way, they're... Honestly, not that bad. Let me double check which uh, prosthetics I'm using. Springload Axe, Gouging Top, and Springload Firecracker, which I haven't actually used that yet. This is the better version that we can... Actually, let me double check this. Do I have to hold it down to spread it all around me? I do. Okay, so you have to charge that up a little bit, but uh, I don't even know if it's really that useful. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. That fire will get you, but I'm okay for now. This seems like the kind of place where we would encounter a ghost enemy, which I'm very much not looking forward to. No idea what's down here, guys. We're kind of jumping into a dark abyss here, completely unknown. I'm a little afraid. I'm going to wait for the fire to go away completely. Okay. Okay. Oh, was I supposed to take damage from that? I don't feel like I had a way to avoid that. Okay, there's a path back there. Another one of those fucking guys. <laughs> I have no way to... Oh, okay, that works. I'm not even sure how that worked functionally there, but yeah, I'll take it for sure. And here's another path. Whoa. This guy's already dead? Oh, this led me back to... Oh, this is right back around. I see. I didn't even notice that path back there before. But okay. That's weird. I guess that's how you get down there without taking damage. <laughs> Makes sense. Alright, so bearing that in mind then, we should come back this way. 
What other paths am I missing in this place? It's very dark, guys. Oh, this is actually a good opportunity to check out. So, I saw a, a loading screen tooltip about this, and then I had somebody else tell me about it independently. So apparently the wolf just has this innate ability called Night Eyes, and when he's in a dark place, he just gets to see, kind of like a cat. And I guess our eyes actually light up to show that we're using our Night Eye ability. You can see they're kind of kind of glowing, a yellowish, nightmarish, ghoulish glow right there. Pretty cool. I guess he really is like a wolf. Can wolf see in the dark? I don't know why I just said that. I just made that up. <laughs> Luna Spirit. Another Wolverine guy up here. Okay, just making sure we couldn't go back there. Oh, okay, get it out of your system. Get it out of your system. There you go. Standing right in the fire. I was gonna say, come on. I'm not afraid to take you on, but you gotta work with me here, pal. You gotta give me an in. Man, are we in the abandoned dungeon area now? That doesn't connect to this place, does it? Well, I mean, okay, I guess it does because we literally took it to get here. But we're pretty far away from it now. Okay, we have emerged. Good. I don't like the cave areas. They're scary. We just got a little temple area here. Yes, refill my health for free. And stop poisoning me. You son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, couldn't get out of it. Okay. How many of these do I have? Only six. I'm starting to go through them. Those bitches. Oh, looks like I just grapple right back to the main temple from here. Interesting. There's an item down there that I didn't get. Okay. Check this place out. Senpo Esoteric Text. Is this another skill tree? <laughs> a book of secrets that grants the ability to learn Senpo style skills. Yup. Those of the Senpo Temple master martial arts in the pursuit of virtue. They considered strong fists and strict discipline essential against Buddha's enemies. However, Senpo Temple was seized by an obsession for the Undying, which corrupted their teachings and style. Seized by an obsession for the Undying. Yep, I don't get you. Obsession with anything is usually not a good thing, but especially an obsession with the Undying. Sounds like you're just asking for trouble there, if I'm being honest. I can't believe it, guys. That's a, that's a fourth skill tree. Well, I did save those points. Maybe that ended up being a good thing. Um, okay. I guess that's the only reason to come up here. Seems totally missable. You never have to come up here for any reason, do you? Alright. We'll start taking bets on how hard I messed this up. Oh, okay. I really thought I would just land on that. I didn't think I'd have to grapple again, but we made it work. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, you know what else I'm curious about, guys? Now that I have the Mortal Blade that's supposed to be able to kill the Undying Ones, I wonder if I can actually kill these fucking centipede guys now. But before we try that, the very first skill on here, Praying Strikes. Using successive elbow and arm strikes, unleash a flurry of quick attacks that inflict damage while preventing counterattack. The strikes are both a martial art and a form of prayer. Without strength, one cannot defeat the enemies of Buddha. 
R1 or L1 plus R1 and then R1 praying strikes repeated palm strikes following elbow strikes hmm two points I wonder if it's any good if it's anything like the Ashina arch tree it's really the extra latent skills on here that are going to be clutch for me screw it man let's try it out I like the nightjar slash but I'm always interested in trying out the different skills, you know? Like, why the hell not? Just gotta remember to actually equip it. <laughs> mortal draw? Wait, when did I get mortal draw? A combat art using the mortal blade. Oh, wow. With the flash of a sword, the, bla the blade slashes through enemies, leaving a reddish-black noxious mist. The seeping mist extends the range of the blade. Technique using the blade that cannot be drawn is a feat only the Oathbound of the Divine Air could achieve. Draw the Mortal Blade and cut through enemies with an extended ranged sword attack. Cost Spirit Emblems to use. Huh. I didn't realize I had this, but it costs Spirit Emblems, which, uh... I don't know about using that as a combat art. That's gonna be rough, I feel. Okay, so that's the Praying Strikes. Right now it's just two hits. Might be good. It, it looks powerful. If it's more powerful than the Nightjar, then that'd be cool. Like, uh, I like the Nightjar. I really like that you could close the distance with it, like, really easily. But, like, um, if we get one that's more powerful, I wouldn't be opposed to using it. Yeah, this dude still isn't freaking dead. Look at him. Do I have to use the mortal draw to kill him? Is that it? That does a lot of posture damage, though. Yeah, he's still not dying. Alright, screw that. Now I know. Yeah, that did a lot of posture damage. That's really cool. Okay. Well, I think I'm done here, guys. We are now going to the Sunken Valley. Which one do I want to go to? I think this is the one. Specifically, we're going to the gun fort. I think we have just about everything we care about. I'm going to need to equip my Iron Fortress umbrella thing. And we have midair deflect, so we're good to go there. Probably going to be very clutch. What do I want to replace with it? The axe is going to be like almost completely useless, right? Because these dudes are all using ranged weapons. <laughs> yep. Sucks for you, buddy. Okay, let's maybe have some warm-up fights with these bros up here. Let me see if I can get used to using this loaded umbrella. Ooh. Oh, man. Gotta get... Oh, get up. Damn, man. Gotta get used to the timing. Uh, that... I don't think that worked. You motherfuck. God damn it. Let me heal. Okay. All right. I hate that fucking guy up there. I can't tell. I, that's supposed to actually deflect it. And like send it back at him, I thought. This is failing miserably. And it's costing spirit emblems. Good. Maybe I'm not ready for this place. I thought I was. <laughs> This is going rough. Okay, I'm missing something with this. I don't understand the point of this. If it doesn't actually deflect the shot back into his face. The moment 
The enemy attack lands. Umbrella deflects. Spread the umbrella to deflect enemy attacks. Umbrella deflects are easier to time than sword deflects. Maybe it's not supposed to ricochet the bullets back at them. I was assuming that this entire time, because that just makes sense to me. Like, that'd be so badass. But maybe not. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. Titty fucking Christ. Oh, he waited! <laughs> Alright, now it's just you. Yeah, that totally doesn't reflect the bullet. Oh, that sucks so bad. I was really looking forward to that, guys. I thought that was going to be amazing. But it turns out it's not. Oh, sucks. Okay. Actually, you know what, though, guys? just occurs to me. I need to... I need to knock out this point before I head down there, and I should really spend my money, too. 953 emblems. I can buy 880. Okay, so I'm gonna follow through with what I've been saying this whole time. I'm gonna buy 500 of these. I'm gonna buy 25 more. <laughs> uh, I was looking at the price. I can't even afford that many. Okay, I'm just going to spend all my money on these. There we go. I completely derped out there, but yeah, we're good. Okay, so actually, I don't need to leave. I'm just going to hope I can knock out this point before I get into a boss encounter. I mean, we're just entering this area, so that shouldn't be a problem, right? Here we go! Ooh. Yep, they're already shooting at me. Mid-air deflect is going to be awesome for this, I think. Oh, my freaking god. Okay. No! Already a mini-boss? You gotta be kidding me. I was trying to not have to do this. Oh, he's got... It. Okay. Whoa, what kind of attack is that? That does damage still. Fuck. Okay, maybe that's the advantage of the umbrella. Shit. I can't tell what kind of attack that is. Son of a mother. Snake Eyes Shirafuji. I don't suppose I can get a stealth hit on him. He's standing right next to me. What? That is so weird. What is that? And I died. I don't suppose you'd be kind enough to give me some unseen aid, would you? Is that in the cards at all? <sighs> red eyes. This guy doesn't have red eyes, does he? <laughs> I didn't really look at his eyes. Nope. No unseen aid for me, just more rod essence. Fuck my entire existence, guys. <sighs> Alright. Well, too late now. I'm committed to fighting this a-hole. I feel like I'm missing something with this loaded umbrella. This really sucks. I thought this was going to be so clutch for this area. I know I can hold it for shelter, which would be really good to just walk around. I guess it's just an easier deflect. I guess that's literally all it is. It's a more... It's a more generous deflect, timing-wise that, um, cost spirit emblems. That's the only thing I can gather about it. 
I can't believe they put a freaking mini boss right here as soon as you enter this stupid area. And there's like no way to be stealthy against him. Fuck me. I hate this guy. I hate him! I hate him! I hate him! I hate him. I hate him already. Yeah, turn around. Great. Okay, what happens if I don't be here? No! Jump down, you fuck! God damn it. Does he follow? Hello! God. Wow. He's a very interesting fighter. I, um, I'm not used to this style at all. Like, mixing the melee attacks with the actual gunshots. That just feels really weird. Bye-bye, <sighs> XP. It was nice knowing you. At least I spent all my damn money. Okay, is this what I want? Loaded umbrella. I mean, I, this would be good for when he shoots me. I can make sure I I block that if I get used to it. But, but I don't know. Like, another one might be better. Nailed it. I like how sometimes you get that icon to grapple right there, and sometimes you don't. So, what happens if I literally just try to not fight this guy? We've got 18 million dudes shooting at me. Like, how does one... Here you go. I was going to say, how do you get out of this area? I got to get far enough away from this dude that I can do a death blow on him. Stealthily. Look at that bridge right there. We're going to have to cross that bridge. Let's see if he lost us. Nope, he's standing right there. He's gonna shoot me. <laughs> okay. I guess there's no shortcuts to fighting this guy. Unless I go really far back. I can't believe that still hurts you. Fucking Jesus. guy. He's really difficult. And he's he is not going to be stealth death blood, guys. He's not going to let it happen. Fucking Jesus. Ah, I'm never ready for that. <laughs> that move is so weird. What is that? Get up! Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> it took a while for me to actually die there. I thought maybe I had, like, a ball hair of health left, and no, I didn't. Hmm. There's gotta be a way 
to get one death blow on him. It just has to be. Wonder what he does if I just stand right down here. I mean, like, he's always facing this direction, right? So... Yeah. Oh, here we go. Maybe I can hang down here? Ow! Who the fuck are you? Ow! Oh, God! Oh, okay, never mind. This is a very bad place to be, it turns out. Good. Perfect. That worked out really good. <sighs> okay. Don't be down there. <laughs> Lesson learned on that. I mean, I guess I could go back. I could go to the bridge and try and cross it and take out all those jackasses up there. Maybe find an idol. And then I could come back to this guy later. That'd be a valid strategy, right? If nothing else, I might just do that just to actually progress in this area a little bit. Just to see something different, you know? I mean, at this point, I literally have nothing to lose. I stand to gain a little bit more rod essence, but that's okay. Yeah! Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, this thing is really handy for this. What would you do if you didn't have this here? Oh, shit. I didn't know what I expected to happen there. I just thought maybe I would, like, automatically jump over it or something. I don't know why I thought that. Are you supposed to fall there anyway? Maybe you are. Look, they lost me. Who? How? Can't even see who the hell is shooting me. Oh, he's right up there. Oh, little dick. Mm. Shot me down. He shot me down. Bang, bang. That awful sound, bang, bang. This asshole shot me down. Why? Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm just gonna sit right here and hit you. Oh, he wised up. I have successfully gotten the kill in this area, guys. Making progress. Check it out. Alright. Okay. Okay. So I have a second to collect myself here. It turns out this area is pretty rough, guys. We're not screwing around here. Like, you think that it's going to be all right because you prepared for long-range battles. And then it turns out that they're actually pretty good up close, too. They swap from, like, long-range to close-range really effortlessly. And both ranges are kind of difficult to deal with. Okay. Now, I think there's another way to grapple up over there, but I can't tell if it leads anywhere. Staying in stealth mode would be, like, absolutely paramount in this place, I feel. Let's 
Instead of grappling up to a place that I can't really see, I'm just going to walk. Okay. Shit! What? They've got traps on the ground. They've got motherfucking traps on the ground, guys. <laughs> You're dead right now, sir. Uh, oh, okay. Damn it. Wow, what a... What a crazy place, guys. Okay, so these... These little straw piles on the ground with the rocks over them. They're noise traps. We gotta avoid those. They are doubling down on the whole stealth aspect of this game. Look at that, we can see inside a little bit. I would wager that path back there leads right in there. It'll be a lot to deal with. Looks like it'll allow me to grapple over these traps, but where will I land? There we go. Beautiful. Okay, I guess that's like the only way forward. Oh, Jesus, I didn't even notice this guy. I heard him breathing and I was like, what? That's insane. <laughs> I didn't even see that guy. <laughs> wow. So at this point, man, I really wish there was an idol, like, right here. I understand why there's not. I just want to be able to go back and fight Snake Eyes easily from here. It's down there. Because I feel like maybe if I went back now... I would actually be able to get a stealth hit on him and maybe have a chance of actually beating him. Maybe. I don't think I'm making that jump right there. Oh, you know what? Wait, when did I kill that guy? Is this the other side of the bridge? Damn my lack of geographical savvy. Which side of the bridge am I on? Uh, no, I'm on the other side, but I just have no recollection of killing that guy right there. Oh, because when I fell through, I grappled to that branch right there, and he was waiting for me. Right, 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 right. Got it, got it, I'm with it. Okay. Okay. So, what I need to do is figure out a way back onto the bridge. But it actually looks like maybe that's not doable. Maybe from that branch up there? If I could get high enough to grapple to that? Doesn't even look like I can, honestly. Okay, this might work. There we go, beautiful. Okay. And see, now I'm not getting shot in the back over and over and over again, which is nice. Okay. Where is he set up? Is 
See, this is nerve-wracking, because if I don't win this fight, I've just wasted, like, the last 15 minutes. And I don't want to have to do this over and over and over again. Look, there he is. I'm not even sure if I can get a stealth hit in on him from right here. He might hear me when I drop down. We're pretty close to him. And I don't think there's any way to, like, get up top or around him. Oh. There we go. Okay, I know it's possible. Now I know that much. That move is so weird. What is that? I tried so hard to deflect those. I really did, guys. I'm never ready. I hate... Oh, he, he pulls me in for the shot. That's what it is. So it must be a grab-style attack, which means I just have to not get hit by it. That's my only recourse there. That's the whole point of it. I get it now. Damn it. I can't deflect after that. It, like, disables me completely. Shit. He is really hard, guys. He is a tough opponent. Oh, that makes me so sad. I screwed it up. I screwed it up, and now we're going back to the start. Okay. I'm not going to take him on again until I uh, find an idol in the actual valley in there, I think. Because it's just... I'm not going to like go and clear those guys out every time and then come back. But I don't think you can really get the cell pole on them without going over there and clearing them out. Otherwise, you're just going to be getting shot the whole time you're trying to hang out over there. And it's no good. I mean, I guess I could try hanging out on the bridge with my umbrella out. That might work. You know what? Let's do a little bit of science. I was going to end this video, but I really want to know. Wait, what's down there? Oh! I was looking at the thing! You guys are a-holes. You're all a-holes. I hope you know that. I just wanted time to look. All right, snake eyes, you relax. Right there. For a little bit. All right. Now, if I just chill here... For like a minute. As long as my posture can take it. <laughs> Alright, let's see if old Snake Eyes has lost interest in me. I'm really, really grateful that this still works from the back. Okay, he's still got the Dorito. But it's not red, which means he may give up soon. If I just relax here. There it is. There it is. Okay. So we don't have to go the whole way over there and clear those guys out. We can make it work. 
then you just got to be insanely careful when you're doing this. Oh, Jesus. There we go. What? That still got me. I thought I dodged it. Firecrackers work. Good. Oh. Damn it. Oh. Whoa, I don't know how that didn't hit me. Fucking. I think I hate this guy more than anyone else. They hit you from so many places. God damn it. What an asshole. What an unmitigated asshole. This guy is the biggest asshole. Fuck. I, I gotta beat him. I gotta beat him before I move on. I'm not gonna fucking go and screw off up there in the gun for it and then come back for him later. I, I can get him now. I can do it. I just gotta get good enough to do it. That's the whole thing. It's time to get good, guys. I've been putting it off. I'm finally gonna fucking get good. I'm gonna come back and kill this asshole. Fuck him so much. Fuck Snake Eyes. Alright, that's what we're doing next time. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.